Welcome to Action and Cut. This is story about another Cinderella. Mary is a maid who always dreams of becoming a star. Mary works for Dominique, who is a singer in her 50s. Mary has lived with her ever since her mother passed away and her father remarried Dominique. Not long after that, her father passed away too, and all of his money went down to Dominique and her twin stepsisters, Brit and Brie. The twins enjoyed bullying Mary until she got scolded by their mother. When they get home, after accompanying Dominique to her music video shoot, the twins tell Mary to do laundry, while the twins are enjoying the latest news announcing Joey Parker, the famous soloist, will be returning to school again. Joey Parker has finished his tour and decided to go back to school, and we know that all the girls love him, including Mary and the twins. Not only announcing his return, but he announces that he and his record label are sponsoring a considerable dance competition, and the winner gets to dance with Joey in his next video. Of course, this interests Mary. The following day, Mary gets into Tommy's old car to go to school. As soon as they arrive and Mary gets out of the car, Natalia, the bully, throws a coke at her. The dramatic cheerleader announces that Joey has arrived when they enter the school. He gets welcomed by the whole school. When Joey and Dustin, his manager, walk into the hallway, he's giggling and having fun with Dustin until he accidentally bumps Mary. Mary apologizes to him, and when he's going to apologize too, her ex-girlfriend, Natalia, kisses him, completely distracting him from Mary. Natalia drags him away, talking about Joey coming to her dance class this afternoon. After school, Mary gets on her skateboard and goes to an empty dance class. She looks straight into the one-way mirror, where she can see Natalia putting on her lipstick, telling the twins that she will get back together with Joey no matter what. Joey walks into the class to share his moves, so people have fun at the competition, and Mary can copy him perfectly and start to have fun with her moves. Before continuing, her evil stepmother calls her to make lunch. She gets home with groceries, but gets stopped by the twins. She told them that they had to leave her alone, but they forced her to watch the clip on the TV. Once the clip plays, the twins get excited because it's a clip of Mary fangirling over Joey Parker, dancing over his song, kissing Joey from the magazine cover, and saying to the camera that his lips are kissable. Mary gets up, taking the CD, but the twins exclaim that they have more copies. Joey Parker, Dustin, and his parents are invited to Dominique's house. Joey sits in between the twins, and his mother tells him to have a duet because she needs another house. Joey doesn't like Dominique because she dissed him once, but now she begs him to have a duet with her, which is pretty ridiculous. Dominique then comes down after 40 minutes of getting ready, and Joey straight up tells her that he won't do a duet with her. Dominique is more than pissed, she calls Mary to bring drinks for the guest. Dominique then asks her to bring the first course of a meal, a crab puff. They start debating within themselves and cause chaos when Joey accidentally gets up and bumps into Mary. The food goes flying everywhere and they get up from the dining table. Dominique grounded Mary and told her to clean the whole room. Mary, later on, tells Tommy that she doesn't want to go to the ball, and Tommy insists that she go because she has been looking for their dresses for two weeks. The twins find out that Mary will go to the prom tonight and ask their mother to stop her from going. Her mother then calls Mary and asks her to clean the whole house. Mary tells her that she has already cleaned the entire house, but then Dominique leads her to her bedroom, the dirtiest room in the whole house. Mary tells Tommy that she can't go because of a new task from Dominique. Mary is busy cleaning when the doorbell rings. She quickly runs to the door and found Tommy holding their dresses with an older man and two other men behind him. They are from the cleaning company and they help clean the bedroom while Tommy and Mary go to the ball. 
Mary comes to the ball late, wearing a red dress with a mask. She then talks to a guy, and he asks her to dance. She gives the DJ her Zune to play her favorite song. Mary and the guy dance gracefully, which causes the twins and the bully to recognize the guy to be Joey, because who dances like that if it's not Joey? The twins and Natalia plan to ruin the dance by pouring little balls onto the ground, causing Mary to fall. The guy reveals himself to be Joey, and the clock hits 12 making Mary go to the DJ in a panic because she has to go home before Dominique comes. She grabs her Zune, but drops it on the way to the stairs. Joey grabs it, and Mary rushes home. The next day, Joey announces that he needs to find the girl from the ball through the school radio. He asks her to come to him and tell him her five favorite songs from her Zune. Girls started to line up, guessing the song, but none knew. Tommy convinces Mary to say it to him. Britt, who happens to be standing under the staircase, listens to their conversation. Britt goes home and quickly goes to Mary's room to find some clues about the songs in the Zune. Britt goes through her room and looks through her laptop, and she finds it and quickly writes it down. The next day, Britt goes to Joey and tells him exactly the five songs. Joey was surprised because Britt was not the girl he imagined for one apparent reason, she couldn't dance. Joey then tells Britt that they have to dance first. Tommy tells Mary to tell Joey the truth because everything will be okay. Mary then gathers the courage to say to him, but Joey snaps at her, so Mary decides to just back out. The twins' 16th birthday happens, and they throw a party inside their house. Mary works as a maid giving food to everyone, and Tommy helps her. Dustin calls Joey letting him know that the girl he's been looking for is inside. Joey goes in and bumps into Mary, they both talk but then the bullies start to play the clip of her fangirling over Joey humiliating her in front of everyone. Mary runs away to her room because she's embarrassed, and she decides to tell Joey the truth by playing the music outside by the pool. Joey hears it and goes outside to find Mary standing in the cold, proving that she's the one. He returns the Zune to her, and he feels terrible for snapping at her when she's planning to tell him that it was her. They both become friends, and Joey wants to teach Mary some moves for the dance competition. The twins ask their mother to give Mary tons of chores, but it backfires because Joey helps her with it while teaching her how to dance. Natalia is not happy and plans a trap for Mary to go to Joey's house while she's there, and Mary falls into it and decides not to talk to him. Joey and Dustin try to reach Mary but fail miserably, so they try to get for Tommy. They both misunderstand each other, and Tommy plans to help Mary go to the dance competition. With Dustin's help, Tommy convinces Mary to go, and she follows them. She sees all the people who compete for one by one. Once all the participants are judged, it's time for Joey to go on stage to perform. He performed a song, that he made when he was with Mary, and in the middle of the song, he stopped the band and called Mary to come to the stage. Tommy and Dustin turn to find Mary, but she's no longer standing near them. Joey calls her again but no response. Dustin helps him by making people cheer for Mary. Joey sees her and stops her from leaving by challenging her to go up to the stage. Mary goes up and they both start to battle. They begin to mock each other's dancing but have fun on stage. Joey asks her to sing with him. Once the song ended, Mary went down the stage to wait for Joey to announce the winner. The judges give him the envelope, and he opens it, and he says that Mary is the winner. As they're celebrating, Mary is being approached by the head of the dance school that she applied to. She's confused because Mary is so healthy despite hearing the news of breaking both of her legs. Mary turns to Dominique, who ends up speechless because she lied about Mary's condition. The head of the dance school then gives Mary her number to call because she got the scholarship which makes her so happy. 
Dominique starts to blabber about things and falls on the stage, breaking her legs. Mary packs all her belongings because she's moving out of Dominique's house. The twins have to take care of their mother, who is now in a wheelchair with her two broken legs. Dominique begs Mary to stay and promises her that she will treat her better. Of course, she won't fall for it. Joey helps her with the last bags, and they both leave the house. Now, she's living her dreams of becoming a star. Please like, share and subscribe.